Hey guys, Scott here with Quest Capsule. Listen, if there's ever a time in Gatlinburg that I needed a little pick-me-up, it's definitely going to be this trip because we're in downtown Gatlinburg and I'm telling you, it is packed wall-to-wall -wall with people. If you've heard any details of Gatlinburg being crazy busy this year, boy, they're not lying to you because we've only been here for a few hours. I'm going to tell you, I've never seen it this packed. Traffic's everywhere, people everywhere, but... uh need a little pick-me-up, need a caffeinated beverage to wake me up a little bit so I can fit in with the crowd. And I uh, wanted to take you guys along with us because we're going to take a stop into Coffee & Company and see what's on the menu, see what it's all about, and save a little bit of money and uh, share a drink with Sarah and uh, order something off their menu. Heard it's a really good menu. Heard they have a lot of options to pick from. But we're headed over to Coffee & Company right now. Going to bring you guys along with us. Let's head over. Gatlinburg is completely packed. We need a little caffeinated beverage to wake us up a little bit so we can contend with uh, all the people and commotion around us. So we're headed down to the village. We're gonna go check out Coffee and Company. Let's go as my glasses fog up. Yeah, so here we are entering into the village on the lookout for coffee and company because we're in need of a piping hot caffeinated beverage to wake us up a little bit. As you can see, Gatlinburg has quite a few patrons along its streets. All the uh, excitement and lookout for a little, uh, little extra kick to our trip here to Gatlinburg and coffee is a must. Some type of coffee, maybe a frappuccino, maybe an espresso. Who knows? There's the donut fryer. But that's not where we'll be visiting today. We, and I think I've seen in photos that it's beside the donut fryer and near that right there, the Pepper Palace. Uh, is this it? No, that's the cheese cupboard. I smell coffee, ah, there it is. Coffee and Company. Tucked away here in a little alleyway area, almost. Like a good alleyway look. Looks like a uh, European style storefront, which I really like. You got the European style street light out here, English shingles. Got some souvenir cups here. Let's go check out their menu. Caramel macchiatos. They got white mocha lattes. Black and white mochas, flavored lattes, lattes and, or cappuccinos. They got straight up coffee, frappa lattes. Is that like a frappuccino? Classic favorites, signature frappa lattes and latte latte day. Latte, latte, de? Or da? I think that's an A. Nah. Matchy frappe, blended fruit smoothies, blended creams, and hot alternatives. What do you recommend? I like a white mocha toffee drink. White mo mocha toffee? Make it like a, uh, kind of like a frappuccino. Ooh, and I'll blend it together. Yeah, I'll blend it together, yeah. Uh, recommendation, the ice one's better than the frappuccino. The ice one's better? Because it's got straight up fresh espresso as opposed to like the mixture, you know. For okay, well, we'll, we'll take your advice. Yeah, definitely. Yep. You want anything else there? I don't think so. Um, what was the name of the drink we ordered? It's just an ice latte. Well, a white mocha ice latte with toffee in it. Okay, okay. so the barista recommended a white chocolate mocha with toffee and whipped cream. So that's what we're going to try out here at Coffee and Company. 
Sounds good to us. Kind of a combination of what we normally order. She usually gets white chocolate mocha. I usually get something with toffee, so we'll meet in the middle. <laughs> Pretty cool establishment here. A lot of the peace, hope, and love decor on the walls. And here is a ceramic coffee grinder you can purchase. And then you can enjoy your beverage in your new dream coffee mug. Some other cool decor, you got the mermaid here. Cool little charm bracelet here with a mermaid. And a lot of cool little canisters here. Little tassels on them. And love is a four-legged word. We'll definitely have to agree with that one. Missing our dog Emma and our dog Tippy. Miss them a lot. And then a very popular hit here in Gatlinburg is the llama. You could take a llama to the top of uh, Mount Lacan. I believe there's some sort of a hike you can do up there with the llama. And there's the barista doing her artwork. And then other cool coffee mugs here. She mixes in the milk and the mocha. Same quote on a different piece of merchandise. We saw that at another shop here in uh, Gatlinburg called Hillbilly Deluxe. Looks like it's going into a little shot glass there, actually. She grabs the shot glass, she pours it in. It's, it's going in the cup. It's going for the mix. I see a little half and half going inside. And they've got their signature coffee selections here. Chocolate truffle and chocolate raspberry, blueberry crumble, almond joy. And she's gonna take it, what's she gonna do now? She goes for a scoop of ice and she ices the mocha. It looks like you can get some tie-dye shirts in here. This one says, peace, love, and happiness. And I think that's their slogan. They actually have it on their coffee mugs, which is a really cool coffee cup you get when you make an order. And we should be showing you that here in a minute. Hey, they've got tea leaves. Sencha green, ginger green. You ever had any of those? Huh. What about, that sounds pretty good, tart berry? Sarah loves her peppermint tea. Put a little peppermint in your tea. And voila! Coffee mugs with a little love. Hey, they even have the, uh, you can buy their coffee beans. Oh, I saw that. That was so cool. And then they've got some outrageous gluten free breads here. You got some uh, gluten free pumpkin bread and some chocolate zucchini bread. Some gluten free cinnamon coffee cake, which would be really good. That would be good with a good hot cup of coffee. And then you've got some big peanut butter persuasion cookies. Some luscious poppy seed cookies. Sarah would like this one, a double decadence chocolate cookie. And then back there hiding is the colossal chocolate chip cookie, which would be just equally as good. Now, I believe she's gonna grab that whipped cream can. Oh yeah. We're in good hands today, it looks like. A little bit of caramel drizzle on top. Yeah, if you don't mind, yeah. She's good to us. Yeah, that looks really, really good. That's funny you ask, because literally every time we get a drink like that, I always add caramel drizzle. And I always want toffee. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Look at that. Barista recommended, and we're going to enjoy every minute of it. Thank you for that recommendation. Thank you so much. Cool little coffee shop there. Let's, uh, let's give Sarah first dibs at testing it out. It's a white chocolate mocha with toffee and a little bit of caramel drizzle. Try it out, Sarah. It's really, really good. Like really, really good. You're gonna sweet like and it. good. It's sweet. Rich and good, bold and good. And there's that peace, love, and coffee label that everybody knows so well for this coffee and company founded the village. Now my turn to sample it out. Mmm. Mm, that is good. Whipped cream's a nice added little touch to it too. She recommended the one over ice. I was trying to get it blended kind of like a frappuccino, but she recommended it over ice. And I'll have to agree with her, it's good on ice, no doubt about it. And my hope is this gives us just enough energy to be able to uh, navigate through the mania of downtown Gatlinburg because tons of people here.
make you happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can really taste the toffee. Yeah. Two favorite candy bars are a Heath bar and a Score bar. They've got the uh, chocolate and the toffee, and I always love it. Nice and brittle, hard toffee. You can taste it in this drink. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to act like I have something to say while I walk around and I drink all of the toffee drink and leave little for Sarah because I need a little wake me up. And I think she's I think she's fine. Just kidding. See so a pretty uh, uh, extensive menu there at Coffee and Company. So if you're looking for a caffeinated beverage while you're in downtown Gatlinburg and you're nearby the village, which if you're in downtown Gatlinburg, you will be nearby the village. Drop into Coffee and Company, check out their menu. Talk to the nice barista in there because she definitely will uh, make a recommendation that's worthy and we're enjoying our white chocolate mocha with a toffee and caramel drizzle. So, But she also said that she could make anything. Yeah, and of course they don't just have this drink, they have many others as you saw on the menu there. So uh, go in and pick what you like because your taste is probably different than our taste. And hey, that's okay. Coffee and Company, downtown Gatlinburg, Tennessee, inside the village. Make sure you go by there and check it out. Wake up a little bit as you walk around and explore the inner city of one of the greatest towns in all of Tennessee, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, that is. Reasonable pricing. What do we pay for this drink there? Um, about what, six dollars? Yeah, a little over six dollars. I think it came to close to maybe seven dollars with tax. So not too bad. One par with maybe a, a venti Starbucks drink. And you get to walk away with the signature uh, logo with the peace, love, and coffee. And uh, that's a cool thing. You can uh, keep that, rinse that out, and keep that for the uh, for the house. And hey, if you like the video, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. It definitely helps us out. We appreciate your support, and uh, it means everything to us. But for now, as we like to say, it's time to put this quest in its capsule and seal it away. We'll see you guys soon on the next one.